the fact that he after you know after he was found guilty and he, he killed himself in, in prison did, did that feel did you feel any sense of right okay I've got justice here or how, how did you feel when he when I, he I, I felt suicide? safe right but then I also felt cheated because he hadn't got to live. He, he probably wouldn't have affected him anyway, but he hasn't got to live with the nightmares I have to live with. Yeah. It's been 13 years now and I still have to live with the nightmare of my children being gone the way they, the way they have. It's, you know, it's very hard for, to lose a child anyway, but the circumstances of which I've been through, I just wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy because it's awful. No, I can imagine. Well, I can't imagine because it's just... I mean, in the book, you do give an indication. Did you feel writing the book, did it help you in some way? Because I know you wanted to help other people. That's why you did it. The, the, my main aim of the book is to try and help other people, mm. you know, for them to see the signs of the lead up of domestic abuse. Sure. Um, but just to help one person from this mm. book would be the achievements. Yeah. And also it's keeping my boy's memory alive. No, that's very important. Because as a mother, it? you just can never forget your child, regardless of how you've lost them. Yeah. A mother and a child is a very, very exceptional bond. Mm -hmm. They weren't just my children, they were my best friends. Yeah, and they're your life, your children. I'd, I'd got no one else in life. No. I've got them. Of course, and especially the it. life that you had. Because I was isolated yep. away from friends, yep. family. Didn't see no one. Yeah. Only the people he wanted us to mix with. So, you know, that's one of the signs to look mm. out for. Isolation from everyone, of course, of not course. being allowed to go anywhere. 